you're going to start with some inexpensive cotton fabric. I picked this up at Joanne. It is really festive. We're going to start by folding the fabric in half so the right sides are together. I cut out a circle that's about 18 inches in diameter out of newspaper. Then I'm just going to trace around it using a marker. This marker line will not show at the end of the pillow, so just use something that you can see. At the very top of the pillow, I'm using a little piece of paper here. This is about three inches wide, and I'm marking off a point here that's going to be the top of the ornament. Now I'm cutting everything out. You want to cut through both layers of fabric when you're doing this. Leaving both pieces together like this, I'm using some quick dry fabric glue to attach them together. I'm going to leave the top open so that we can stuff this pillow when it's all dry. Now leave this to dry. Quick dry fabric glue will be ready to work with in about 30 minutes, but if you're using regular fabric glue, you might need to wait a couple of hours. Everything is dry, so I'm gonna turn it right side out. And I need to fill this pillow. I just picked up some polyfill from the craft store, grabbing little pieces at a time and stuffing them into the pillow. I wanna make sure I get into all the edges and make this a nice full and comfortable pillow. Once the pillow is full up to the top, I need to glue the edges together. So I'm gonna grab a couple clothespins and the fabric glue, and I'm just gonna fold in the seams and glue these together. It's helpful to do the round part first, and then you're also gonna to wanna to glue the top of the ornament together as well. Now we're gonna let this dry again before we add our finishing touches. This pillow is coming together. It's starting to look like an ornament, but it needs a top to it. So I picked up some really thick metallic ribbon and I cut out a piece that's gonna wrap around the top of the ornament. This is gonna look like that little silver cap that sits on top. So I'm just gonna use some hot glue to attach the ribbon to itself and also attach it to the fabric so it's not moving anywhere. The final step is to add a hook to our ornament and I am using a silver pipe cleaner to do this. Just use a little glue and attach it to the inside of the ribbon. And that's it. We've got an ornament pillow. This no sew pillow was so easy to make. I made three of them. They're actually really comfortable and they're very durable. You can use these on your couch in your home this Christmas. I hope this inspired you to go create your own ornament pillows for the holiday season. Thanks for watching Home Talk. We'll see you next time. I got this throw pillow from Michael's. It was on clearance because it was like their summer line, but on the back of it, it's totally plain. So I thought I could do a DIY stamped design on this side and then it could be reversible depending on the season. I'm going to be cutting mine into diamond shapes and I'm gonna to choose to take a corner that's already at a 90 degree and make a square because I can just turn it on its edge and it will be a perfect proportioned diamond. Just like that. These lined up next to each other I'm gonna make a larger diamond shape, so there's gonna be space in between, and I think this design's gonna look really cute and modern. I also wanna do some that are the same size, but solid, so I'm gonna use my little square that I cut and kind of measure out how big the next square should be. Now I'm going to use the trick of laying down um, some painter's tape. I like to use frog tape usually when I'm painting. And this is going to ensure that I have um, straight lines when I lay my stamps on the pillow. So if I just use the painter's tape, I can eyeball straight and I don't have to measure. And this will keep me on track. So I'm going to tape off like that. My stamp doesn't have to be against this. These lines are just guidelines to help me. Okay, so now my pillow's taped off and I'm feeling really good about how straight the lines are. We're gonna start stamping. So for this project, I'm just using regular black craft paint, but you could use um, fabric paint if you wanted it to be really soft and really durable. I'm okay with my craft paint because I know it'll stick to fabric anyway and I'm never gonna take off the cover to wash it since like I said, my pillow cover is not removable. And dip it in 
Just get it soaked. You're gonna kind of plan out your placement on your pillow. Thinking I want four up and down and then three. So I'm gonna do one here. Now you wanna make sure that you kind of eyeball it before you press down and then when you press down you're very decisive, you don't move it around. And like I said, those tape guidelines really help. You don't have to press very hard. And look at that, isn't that texture so cool? From the sponge, I really like that. And I'm gonna do another one. I re-dip every time so that you have a similar amount of paint on your sponge. I'm gonna do another one up here. When it's on a curve like that, you just rock your sponge back and forth without moving. Now we're gonna do the little guy. And like I said, I'm doing a diamond shape, but the little guy is gonna make a diamond that's broken into four pieces. I think this design's gonna look really cute. Another thing you could do is more with more variants is make sure you're rotating your sponge so that the spot where like the lack of paint is um, changes regularly. And if you have too much paint, you soak up too much paint, you can just like dab it off on the edge or on another piece of paper or something on the side because you don't want to get globs on your pillow. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue this in each of my lanes. So now on the edge, when you are trying to stamp like an edge like that, what I can do is I can just cut my, uh, my sponge off where it needs to be, as long as you're done with all the rest, obviously. And then place it and stamp. Nice. All right, now I'm done with all my stamping. I'm just going to take off my tape. And wow, that looks awesome. It looks really good. After you remove the tape, you're done. I hope you're excited about how easy and versatile this is. You could do any print. You could do leaves for fall, trees for winter, whatever you wanted. Thanks so much for watching today on Home Talk. We'll catch you next time.